logistic regression actually gives you the probability associated with each of the category like your dependent variable as yes no category so what is the probability of yes or what is the probability of no for each individual outcome it gives you the probability that is why it is called a logistic regression because the probability function is uh, joined with the linear uh, equation using the probability distribution and in logistic regression we use binomial distribution because binomial distribution is is something where we work on the two category problems that is why we use binomial distribution there so anyways we don't need to go very detailed into that that's a mathematical aspect of that logistic regression example of logistic regression there are two examples suppose that we are interested in the factors that influence whether a political candidate wins an election so outcome variable is binary win or loss we are simply want to predict the probability of his you know winning or losing not no no other situation out of these two so the predictive variable of interest are the amount of money spent on the campaign the amount of time spent campaigning negatively and whether or not the candidate is an incumbent so these are the explanatory variable or what we call as independent variable example two might be researchers interested in how variable such as gre graduate record exam score grade point average and prestige of the undergraduate institution affect admission into graduate school so here the admission is converted into two category problem like whether he admit or do not admit so it's again a binary binary variable so logistic regression uh, what we understand to these two example that logistic reg regression always applies in a situation where we want to find out the probability associated with any of the two outcome okay like admit do not admit something like that in a sat sex logistic regression or logit regression why we call it is a logit regression also because logit is a function through which the binomial distribution associated with or linked with the linear equation okay so just remember this name sometime what happened in during the interview some might ask you have you heard about logit regression instead of logistic regression right so you should know these terminology logistic regression is a type of regression analysis used for predicting the outcome of a categorical dependent variable remember in in linear regression the dependent variable was continuous it was not categorical but in logistic regression when it works only when the dependent variable is a category category variable the probability describing the possible outcome of a single trial are modeled as a function of explanatory predicted variable using a logistic function i will tell you what is the logistic function frequently and subsequently in this article logistic regression is used to refer specifically to the problem in which the dependent variable is binary that is the number of available categories too so are you clear with that like what is the basic assumption or how to decide that whether i should choose linear or logistic abhin are you clear with that lakshmi because the first thing comes to you you know that when whenever you have a situation you need to find out whether you apply the law linear or logistic regression okay so uh, i have one question for you like i told you when the dependent variable is a category variable so i i told you that we should use logistic regression can we use linear regression as well just uh, uh, for for your future reference make sure that um, uh, and remember that we cannot apply linear regression because definitely it will give you some result but those results are nowhere uh, you know the reality okay so we cannot apply linear regression if you apply linear regression it will give you some value some answer like algorithm run and will give you some answer but 
in that case actually the probability value might go beyond 1 and you know beyond 0 and beyond 1 which is not possible right so like in that case we sh cannot apply linear regression into that situation so very important thing you should remember and this might be a, a regular interview question as well okay I, I suggest you to please uh, you know take a short note what I'm uh, saying so that you you could remember for later on and you can go and Google and go deep diving into that once you understand the basic uh, understanding or basic learning of logistic regression so keep that in mind oh so that's a mathematical thing is something the logistic regression uh, don't worry about it like uh, our R or any statistical software take care of this it automatically converts your outcome into probability but actually this is the way a particular function is associated with your linear function if you look at that beta 0 plus beta 1 x okay in uh, pi x exponential beta 0 plus beta 1 x okay this beta 0 beta 1 x actually this beta 0 is a and beta 1 is b so this is resemble as a plus b x right that was our linear regression and that was associated with y is equals to a plus b x but in case of logistic regression pi x is a probability of x where x is a dichotomous variable and that probability is always count through exponential of beta 0 a plus b x divided by 1 plus exponential of you know a plus b x and as denominator is always greater than numerator that is why it gives you the probability value between range 0 to 1 and we know that uh, the probability cannot be greater than 1 and cannot be less than 0 so that's a very important you know concept into that but if we don't uh, like we don't need to go very detail into this mathematical aspect of it because our, our software automatically take care, take care of these things right so but remember that your logistic regression final output once you convert once you convert them into predict predicting uh, value it always gives you probability so the your outcome would be 0 to 1 between the between a value of 0 to 1 it will never out of you know out of that uh, range like 0 1 range right so remember that let me right guys once oh look at that like that's a very good explanation this beta 0 plus beta 1 x beta 0 is a and beta 1 is b that we discussed in the last session okay beta 0 is a intercept parameter and beta 1 is a slope parameter and in the linear regression here it was y the direct dependent variable but in logistic it changes to pi x upon 1 minus pi x okay and ln is a logistic function okay like log 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 function so it's converted to that and it's I told you it's a value between 0 to 1 so that's a logistic function okay so what is the odd p upon 1 minus p like p is the probability okay so these are the probability concept we don't need to you know Right, right uh, like learn this thing right now if you do not have a probability if you do not know about the probability or you're not well versed with the probability concept don't worry about it so I will I mean it would be more clear when we actually discuss the the real outcome okay so don't need to worry about that right now